Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma ba'd. Sister is asking a question here, may Allah bless her and preserve her and elevate her status. She's asking a very important question here. She's asking for a translation and, you know, an explanation of the poetry that you see on your screen in front of you. This is some poetry that has been issued by Ibn Taymiyyah to the extent that his student, Ibn Muflih, rahimahullah, said that Ibn Taymiyyah used to repeat this poetry over and over and over again. And this poetry has been quoted by Ibn Uthaymeen in his explanation of An-Nuniya of Ibn Al-Qayyim. An-Nuniya of Ibn Al-Qayyim is a very extensive poem where he is talking about the Aqeedah of Ahl-Sunnah. It's a poem which talks about the Aqeedah of Ahl-Sunnah which is more than 5,000 lines, 5,000 verses. And towards the end of this poetry, Rahimahullah Ibn Al-Qayyim he talks about the life of this dunya and how it is impermanent, how it is temporary, how it doesn't bring about happiness in and of itself. I'm going to play what Ibn Al-Thaymi says here. One second. <laughs> The life of this dunya is going to turn away from the person. The life of this dunya doesn't want you. And the person who is happy is the person who prepares himself to leave. The person who is preparing himself for something which is far greater, which is the Jannah and the Akhirah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah quotes what Ibn Taymiyyah used to say over again, which is this, Tubi'at ala kadrin wa anta turiduha. The life of this dunya in its very nature inherently is full of difficulty and tests. Despite the fact that it's full of difficulty and tests, you want the life of this dunya. Safwam min al aqdai wal akdari. You want to purify the life of this dunya from the tests and the difficulties that are within it because every time you find difficulty and test you think you can overcome it and then you can have a nice dunya again. But the very nature which is inherent in the life of this dunya is that it's full of tests which are repeated over and over again. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah is saying here, Safwan min al-Aqdai wal aqdari You want the life of this dunya and you think you can purify it. Every time you have a new hurdle, an obstacle, you think you can overcome it. And now you will have the dunya. Finally, you can relax, but you can't. Because it is very... It is part of the nature of the life of this dunya. You can't detach it. And as a result then, you spend the life of your days in the life of this dunya. You spend your days doing something which is against the very nature of the life of this dunya, which is you are trying to purify it from difficulties and you are wasting your time. It is as if a person who finds himself within the fire, a fire which is consuming him, and then he wants some water to drink. Ibn Uthaymeen Rahimah says, if you're inside of the fire, how would drinking water bring about any quench? It won't, because you're inside the fire in itself. These are some very important words, and a, a poignant reminder of what the life of this dunya is, and how the ulama of Ahl sunnah were sincere towards the rest of the creation. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he shows us the reality of the life of this dunya and he helps us to prepare for the akhirah and he detaches anything in our hearts to the life of this dunya and the appearance of how glorified it may seem. Allahu a'lam. Sallallahu alayhi wa